Hello everyone, it's Laura here. I'm going to show you a couple of things I picked up from a thrift store on the weekend. Um, as I was out and about in a different suburb, I only came across one thrift store, so I jumped in there. And I haven't been there before, so I picked up a couple of different things. And um, then I got some other things to sell in bulk as well. So I picked up this vintage black and gold dress. And I really love this piece, and I especially love the hemline. And it's got a big board detail in here. So um, I'm going to keep this dress for myself, actually. I don't really have anywhere dressy to wear it, but I think it looks good on my mannequin here, so I'm going to keep it for a while. And later on, if I decide to sell it, I can sell it. But um, I don't normally find such good vintage pieces in the op shops here, so I was quite excited to find that one. Um, just excuse all the, the boxes down here. I'm trying to sort through all my jewellery of what I'm going to whisk and bagging it up ready to take photos. I received this yesterday in the mail. It's nine pounds of estate jewellery from America. And um, I'm not very happy with the what I got this time because this much of it is scrap. So very heavy. But five, five pounds of the main is scrap. And then the stuff that's left over is not very good. There's a lot of beaded things. There's a couple of nice brooches, but I think it'll be a bit of a struggle to get my money back on that one. But I, the scrap always sells quite well for me. I've got 1.5 kilos listed on eBay at the moment, and it's up to $36 already. And that one finishes tonight or early morning. So you can still get money back that way, but... I try and not waste much scrap if I can help it. Um, I went into one of the, it's like a, it's not really a dollar shop, it's, it's, um, I don't know how to describe it, it's like a, you know one of those cheaper shops where you can pick up a lot of different knickknacks and things and they're usually only priced at a few dollars each. And we just went in, my family and I, we just went in just to have a quick look around and see what there was. And I found all these Beatles tea towels and the Authentic Beatles merchandise. And it's got, of course, it's got all the Beatles on it as well. And um, they were a dollar each. And I picked up all the ones that they had, so I got 16 of them. And uh, I had a look on eBay when I got home, and there's only two sellers in Australia who have them listed at the moment. So I'm thinking I might hold off and list them maybe middle of August in time for Father's Day and keep the listing going throughout Christmas time as well. So I was quite excited to find them for a dollar. So I'm going to keep one for myself and my brother, of course, he'll want one as well. So, um, yeah, not bad for a dollar each. In that thrift store where I got the dress, I got a vintage bow tie, black and gold. It was three dollars, but um, some of the accessories were half price, so I got it for a dollar fifty. And usually unique bow ties, they do sell, sell quite well. And I got this belt here for a dollar, big black bow, and it wraps around. And it's in excellent condition. And usually belts like that, I can get about $15 for them. So I haven't got too many things. I haven't really been able to get out to too many thrift stores. I'm back at uh, school teaching, so um, my days are spent at school. And um, the op shops close here around four, between four and five in the afternoon. So by the time I get out of school, the op shops are shut. So it only leaves me on the weekends and I've been pretty busy the last few weekends. But I'm hoping to get out um, this Saturday after my son's swimming lesson and see what I can find there. So I hope everyone's having good sales on eBay and um, finding lots of things whilst they're out picking. So looking forward to catching up on everyone's videos over the next couple of nights and um, seeing what you have all found. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Bye.